Jacob here. Today we're going to go over the concierge game packages. I went over this previously around two years ago. This has been a popular video over time as people research the game, and so I want to go over this again in a somewhat shorter video. If you are a long-term subscriber to the channel, please do listen till the very end for what's going on and coming up on the channel. As always, see the chapters for whatever you are so interested in, and let's of course get right to it. So here you can see the various game packages. Now, because I am myself concierge, of course, you can see that I have access to them. And now the concierge packages are the ones with this particular icon. And that's effectively the concierge icon. So there are a number of packs here. There is one pack that is missing from here. And now this is the scoundrel pack. Now, the scoundrel pack is a very, very good pack because it, you effectively had a couple of fighting ships, so like the Hawk and the Cutlass Black, and you previously had uh, another ship, Caterpillar perhaps, I can't remember. Uh, so it was effectively, a, it was a very good pack because you had a, a trading ship, and then you had, you had a, the upcoming, or what was the upcoming Mercury Star Runner, then you had the Cutlass Black, and so it was, it was very effective because you had you know, like, a, it was a one-person game package, if you like. And it's a shame, it's not available anymore. Anyway, moving swiftly on, we're going to, of course, start from lowest to highest. So the first one is going to be the Verse Pack. Now, this one, in my opinion, you, you get a lot of what I would defy as LTI tokens. So you get a number of starships. Uh, the Aurora and the Mustang are very good. Uh, the good ships in here would be the Freelance and the Andromeda, and even the Cutty Black as well. And then you've got some more... Uh, LDI tokens so it's it's a good pack for like one or two people or maybe up to like six or seven but it's it's yeah it's not great I see a lot of LTI tokens in this in my opinion moving on let's go to the escort pack now this exploration pack isn't concierge so we are going to skip that so in the escort pack this is a very good pack in my opinion this would be probably be the next pack up from, say, the Scoundrel pack, which is sadly no longer available. So in here you get the Hammerhead, the Sabre, the Defender, the Super Hornet, the Gladius, and the Terrapin. So you've got like a central org ship in the Hammerhead. You've got the few fighters in that of the Sabre, Defender, the Hornet, and the Gladius. And then you've got like a forward scout Terrapin, uh, which is quite good. And again, all of these game packages have lifetime insurance. Uh, they are, may have uh, Hammerhead name reser reservations or whatever ship reservations. And of course, they all come in Squadron 42. Moving on next to the Interceptor pack. As the name describes, you effectively get a lot of Interceptor-like ships. So that, of course, is going to be like the dogfighting ships, so the, the Gladius. You're looking at things like the... Let's see what else is here. Some of these star ships are quite good at that, but they're not just not powerful enough. The Hornets are good but nothing stands out to me other than perhaps the Andromeda and the Freelancer. But yeah, the, as far as I see it, you have a whole bunch of LTI tokens. Up next is the Exploration Mega Pack. Now, I don't like this one, in my own opinion, because you effectively have the Carrick, which is a good ship. Uh, it's also okay for exploration, I would assume. You've got the Exploration Freelancer, you have the Exploration Explorer or the 300 series. You've got the uh, 600i Exploration module, which is okay for the 600i. You've got the Aquila as well, the Exploration ship. You've got the Terrapin as well. You just, you have so many Exploration ships and nothing really of anything else. I mean, all of these are able to defend themselves to the to a reasonable extent, so that's okay. It, to me, it's, it's, it's just not worthwhile. Okay, so moving on next to the Company Pack. Now, this of course features the Orion, the Reclaimer, Starfarer, the Starliner, and the Crucible. So this is very much uh, like a support pack, if you like, for a large-scale organization, or maybe like a 100-man organization. So you've got the, you would have the Org Orion. Uh, of course, you can go and salvage stuff if you need to, and you can refuel all your other friends and stuff, and you can take them all places, and you can repair them. So it's a good support uh, game package, if you like. Moving on then to the Tycoon pack. 
So this is an interesting one as well. You effectively have everything else that you had in the previous pack for the same price, but then you get a few additional ones. So the Orion, the Reclaimer, the Starfarer, the Styliner, and the Crucible were all in that pack. Uh, but in addition, you get the, the Vulture, the whole sea, you get the Vulcan and the Prospector. So that is a really good deal. That is an incredibly good deal. Uh, but again, it would be effectively a support pack, much like the previous. For a moment, I thought it was the exact same pack uh, price, but no, it's just these two that are the same price. So that's that's quite a lot. That's a thousand pounds for an extra four ships, which I'm, I'm not so sure about. Okay, so this one is the Prevectus pack. That's the Warbond one. So we're going to go to the not Warbond one and go up here. So this looks okay. You've got an, a lot of ships here, in fairness. So you've got what stands out here is the Caterpillar for trading, as the as well as Guts Black, the Aquila, the Terrapin, uh, the Freelancer Durr. Uh, you've got a lot of dogfighters here in the Saber and various other things, I'm sure. So you have the Gladius, the Hornets. This is okay, but as far as I see it, you have a lot of LTI tokens here, as per usual. Okay, moving on to the Convoy pack. So this is probably my end game pack. As I also said in my previous video, so you effectively have the whole D that will take your entire inventory uh, pretty much anywhere in the entire universe. Uh, you've got the Merchantman for your money making, you've got the Staff Error for your money making, your Caterpillar for your money making, or your trading, and then you've got all of these various other things. So you've got the Gladius, the couple of Hornets, or just a Hornet, you've got the Defender, the Sabre, you've got the Hammerhead, you've got the Renegade, you've got just a couple of other reasonable good stuff to have. So you got the Vulcan, the Triage. So you've got what you need as like a 100 or 150 man org. It's uh, it looks like a good pack does this, and and so that is my end game. Next up we have the Dominus pack. So this is where it, things start to get serious. So we have the Idris P frigate which is the most, probably one of the most serious ships at this point. Now we're moving on to some other interesting ones here. We've got the Endeavor, the first appearance of the Endeavor. We've got the Hammerhead that we've seen, the Redeemer that we've not seen, and then we've got some some quite crazy kind of ships. So we've got the the couple of Vanguards, we've got the Eclipse, Harbinger. Yeah, we're, we're getting into some quite serious firepower at this, at this point. Got a couple of sabers. We've got the gladiator. Got various hornets. The hurricane. Yeah, this this is where it gets serious. And there's what's also interesting to see is there is still a couple of what I would say are LTI tokens in that of the grey cat and the stalker, and maybe even the reliant at this point. And then perhaps one way of saying it is an LTI token is what you don't like in that of the ship that you want to upgrade. And lastly, or second to last, we have the, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but we have the second to last pack. The last one being the Legatus, which I do not have access to. If you are interested in what ships are in there, that there is a spreadsheet that I've linked in the comments at the very top. There's a pinned comment, of course, and of course you can have a look through them. Here we have the 890 jump, and this is where we get even more serious in that of the Idris M frigate. So this is the military version. One that you can't effectively buy in game, and as far as I'm concerned, you won't be able to. We then see uh, the appearance of the Polaris, the Hammerhead. Uh, we got the Prowler, the first appearance of that. Uh, we got the Carrick. Uh, of course, that was in the exploration versions before. Uh, we've still got the the Endeavor, the Merchantman, the Orion, Caterpillar. And yeah, this is this is where things start getting kind of crazy. But saying that, they were crazy at about a thousand dollars in some people's opinion. But Otherwise, that will do for that one. This is a section of the video I like to do for my subscribers on the odd occasion. Once again, as I've done so many times, I want to apologize for my lack of uploading. I'm now in a state where uploading shouldn't be a problem from a health perspective. The only problem I am left with is the environment in which I record as I still reside with family. In the coming months, this should change where I'll be able to get my own place and perhaps weekly or more uploads should be possible. But for now, that schedule will remain to be monthly. I'm only at the start of restarting this journey, so I make no promises right now, but it's the effort and of course the thought 
that counts. Everyone's support was a massive contributor to my motivation and the drive I once had. And it well and truly kept me going at the time. That is exactly what I'm after again. Another obstacle is my intermittent internet at present. This would likely prove to be difficult for obtaining in-game b-roll, not to mention uploading a video. That I'm most definitely not looking forward to. On the other hand, I'm also trialing less scripting of my videos, so only the intro and this section are actually scripted. This is to hopefully speed up my videos. Thank you ever so much for watching. Today's video sponsor, as always, is the like button for the almighty YouTube algorithm. That will of course allow this channel, this community, to grow with your support. Obviously don't forget to comment or subscribe if you haven't already. I generally try to upload as of right now monthly, so be sure to check back. My name is Jacob, thank you, and goodbye for now.